everybody. Welcome to my strong hold grip conditioning video. Today we're going to focus on different variations of pull-up crunches. Before we start any workout, please make sure that your pole is securely tightened and that you warm up very well, especially the shoulder, back, chest, and stomach area. All right, let's go. First, let's start from the proper positioning. So for the stronghold grip, you want to grab the pole under the armpit, push it really in, move your hips in front of the pole to make your back rest against it. Let me show you that from a different angle. Under the armpit and walk your hips in front here. From the back, under the armpit and walk the hips in front. Now, you want to keep the elbow very close to your rib cage and the chest. The hands are just a decoration here. So try to grab them very, very low. The inside hand goes lower over the shoulder. The outside hand over on the top. Now, make sure that you don't open the elbow. It's all about using the bicep and the tricep to push the elbow into the side of your chest, into the rib cage. Yeah, so oh, push really tight and don't let it open. It's all about hanging on the skin of your armpit here. Sounds painful, I know. If you feel this kind of ripping and burning sensation under your armpit, it means that you're doing everything all right. Okay, the basic pull-up crunch looks something like that. So we try to lift the knees towards the chest and hold them there for a moment. In order to do that, you need to round your back, squeeze your butt cheeks, and push the pelvis in, tightening your belly muscles. So the hips go forward, pelvis goes forward and up. That kind of motion. So squeeze your butt cheeks very well and feel that your stomach tightens here. That way, you protect the lower back and you're gonna lift all the weight of your legs with your stomach, not with the lower back. To start off, if you are a beginner, definitely try to do just the regular pull-up crunch. Armpit on the pole, inside hand low, outside over. Walk your hips to the front, round the back, pelvis under, tighten your belly muscles, and try to lift the knees up towards the chest. And repeat. You can definitely take breaks in between the reps. You can also try to challenge yourself and don't touch the floor. And my favorite, after the last rep, you can keep your knees up in the air and try to hold for as long as you can. Hold. All right. Different variations for more advanced students or simply if you want to challenge yourself. Definitely try with the legs straight. So you can bring the knees up to the chest first and then straighten the legs one by one. One by one. You can also try to lift them both straight away, straight. <laughs> Armpit on, hips in front, pelvis under, and both legs straight up. And again. If you feel like challenging yourself, try to hold the legs up for as long as you can. My favorite variation is the straddle. You can try to lift the legs first, knees up towards the chest, and then open. Or you can lift them both straight and open in the V-shape. Option number one, open. 
Option number two, both straight. And of course, after the last one, hold. Another more advanced option that you can try is holding the pull-up crunch up with just one hand. So, with the basic one, you go with the knees up, let go of the outside hand. It may be more difficult with the legs straight in a pike position, but I think it's doable. Oh yeah. <laughs> and my favorite, the straddle. If you are an intermediate or an advanced student, you can also try all those three variations from the pull-up. So keeping both feet off the ground for the whole duration of your exercises. So grab the hands a little bit higher, pull yourself up, try to pull under the armpit, hips in front, and you go with the regular one, with the pike, or with the straddle, and obviously try all those three with one hand on. To take it up a notch, you can also try them from the floor. So get down on your knees, armpit on, inside head low, outside high. It may be more difficult to bring the hips to the front. Regular one. Pike. And the straddle. If you are not sure that you have the control needed to gently land on your knees on your way back, put some knee pads on, use the rolled mat or any other sort of cushioning. For some workout examples, please check out the description box below. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and good luck. <laughs>